Hello everybody, welcome to Miss with PJ. Today's date, October 21st, 2016. Our word for discussion is tangible. In Job 31, 35, Oh, that one would hear me. Behold, my desire is that the Almighty would answer me and that mine adversary had written a book. Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is your, not, not your own doing. It is a gift from God. Romans 10:17. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Hebrews 11:13. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. James 2.17 So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Titus 11.1-2 Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth, which accords with godliness in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began. This word defined is capable of being touched, discernible by the touch, material or sustainable, real or actual, rather than imaginary or visionary, definite not vague or elusive, having actual physical, physical existence as real estate in, or chateaus, and they're capable of being assigned a value in monetary terms. God's grace is the tangible means that the world is saved. He provided His love, mercy, and grace by giving His all, by giving His one and only Son for our salvation from sin. When Jesus healed the lame, the blind, raised the dead, and did other great works, he showed that all things were tangible through faith. Paul demonstrated that things were tangible because of his knowledge of the truth of Jesus Christ after he was converted on that Damascus road. All things are tangible through God. When we believe, for God is always there when no one else is. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed.